This video is going to be a sort of like a real quick rundown on the aftercare for the Brazilian blowout. And I know that a lot of you guys might have questions about the Brazilian blowout if, you, if this is the first video that you're watching regarding this topic. So if you do, please click on the link that I'm going to provide right here if you have your annotations turned on. If not, go to the information box and I will post a link to the video there. And these videos will actually answer a lot of your questions. Actually, there will be two videos that I'll post. One of them will be somebody, a video of someone getting the Brazilian blowout done. And then the second video will be, I believe it is a three month follow up. So please click on those videos before you post questions here. And in this video, all I'm going to be doing is just giving instructions on how to use the aftercare products. So this video hopefully will be helpful to those of you who have gotten the Brazilian blowout and just want a real quick um, like one, two, three step on how to do or how to use the aftercare. I want to start off by emphasizing how important it is that you do use the products that were provided to you by the salon and that you don't try to use any type of alternative because you did probably pay a lot of money to get your Brazilian blowout done and you want to definitely upkeep the Brazilian blowout or make it last as long as possible by using these high quality products. The first step that you want to take is you want to use the anti-frizz shampoo and what you want to do is you want to massage it into your scalp just like you would with your regular shampoo and make sure that you wash any uh, product out of your hair that you may have used throughout the day like maybe hairspray gel or heat protectant, anything like that. So you want to wash it all completely out of your hair and this is just going to be around the scalp area. Also this is going to um, run off into the rest of your hair and it's going to help with any type of frizz that you might get after time. With the Brazilian Blowout it is an anti-frizz uh, process. This will help your hair continue to look sleek and smooth. Next product you want to use after shampooing is of course the conditioner just as you would with your regular conditioner but in this case the only difference between this conditioner and a regular one is that they do want you to use this on your scalp. Your regular conditioner usually it's not recommended that you apply it to your scalp because it really weighs out your hair and it can make your scalp very oily but in this case it is recommended that you use this on your scalp as well as the rest of your hair and then you can um, allow it to be in your hair for a couple minutes as you you know wash the rest of your body and then you rinse it out and this is actually safe enough to be used twice if you'd like. After that you are going to use the daily smoothing serum which looks like this and you're just going to apply a nickel size amount all over your hair and all over your towel dried hair so this is after you've already washed, conditioned your hair, come out of the shower, towel dried it and then you can go ahead and apply it throughout your hair um, especially around the ends and then you can just style your hair as usual. This next product I believe is what really seals the deal. This is the Intense Reconstructor. This is a deep conditioning mask and the instructions say to leave it in your hair for 10 to 20 minutes um, and this is going to be when your hair is wet so maybe you can put it in your hair while you are washing your hair and then wrap it on top of your head and leave it in for 10 to 20 minutes. The other um, recommendation is to leave it overnight and then rinse it thoroughly in the morning. I know that I'm going to get some questions about whether or not you should use these products if you didn't get the Brazilian blowout. And that answer is going to be kind of difficult. It's going to vary, but I'm going to give you an answer that will kind of like hopefully answer everybody's situation. Everybody has a different situation, different hair texture, different desires as far as what you want your hair to, to look like after you wash it, shampoo it, deep condition. Um, I have been using these products actually. They were sent to me. I do not have the Brazilian blowout but like I said I do have a video of someone who is getting the process done. You can click on the link in the information box to see that. Um, but I did not have it done however because these products are in my home I did actually use them a couple of times and the outcome is just for fun I'll let you guys know the outcome is that it really um, weighed my hair down like 
not in a bad way either because I'm so used to having so much volume and almost like not frizz but kind of like poofiness in my hair and it was very my hair just felt very like heavy not oily but it just kind of felt like it just fell like it was just heavy and I think that would really help out with someone who has maybe like really straight hair but they have frizz or someone who has um, wavy hair but has a lot of frizz and possibly even someone who has curly hair and a lot of frizz so it definitely is anti-frizz I definitely can say that yes I do agree it is an anti-frizz product however it does weigh your hair down so it's kinda like one of those things where if you don't mind having your hair weighed down like maybe if you have really big poofy hair and you wish that there was something that would hold it down and take the frizz away then yes this is definitely perfect for your hair would I continue to use this for my hair sure you know why not it smells great I had a conversation with one of my um, someone who commented on one of my previous videos about how the products didn't smell good at all but it smells really good like seriously it smells very very delicious and so I that's part of the reason why I continue using it if I had to um, but yeah that's all that I have to pretty much say about this product and hopefully my little quick instructions helped you out and if you have any other questions or comments please leave it in the comments area I'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye